Okay, here it goes. Hope it works. Um, go. Okay, I have to hurry a little bit so that hopefully we can get the video in. Good luck. Okay, finding volumes are one of the best problems you can encounter. This sentence. Finding a volume, honestly, is one of the best problems you can encounter on the entire AP test. It's one of the easiest things you'll ever do. Um, here's the region, right? The axis of rotation is the x-axis. That's here. So when the region rotates, it forms some sort of solid. We don't really care. All we care is that every slice is a circle. And every circle has a hole in the middle. So something like this. Okay, circle with a hole in the middle. We need to find the volume of the slice, not the volume of the solid, just the slice. So the volume of the slice has to be the area of the slice times the thickness. Finding the area, super simple. You find all of the area, pi r squared, and then you simply find the area of this and subtract them. And that gives you the area of the slice because the slice looks like this. Wait if you need me to go through that again. Okay, so on the board, how that works is because the axis of rotation is here, look, the slices are oriented like this. So the radius of the entire slice goes from the axis of rotation here all the way to here. On the drawing, it looks like this. You always draw, listen to these words carefully, you always draw the axis, the, the radius by starting at the <laughs> axis of rotation draw towards the region, go through the region. Now I'm going to use bad grammar to make the memory more permanent. You stop when the region ain't no more. Okay? It's a proven fact that if you do something that's a bit more out of the ordinary, your memory will be better. So that's not really that much different, but hopefully that will help. Uh, memorize this phrase, though. To draw the radius, if you draw the radius any other way, you'll often make a mistake. So just always draw the radius from the axis of rotation because the center of every slice is always in the middle of the slice. It's always the axis of rotation. The slices rotate around. Read the name for me. Oh, you have to sing again. How many slices are there? Well, infinite. Yeah, there's an infinite number of slices. So I could really draw an infinite number of radius, uh, radii, uh, radii. So it doesn't really matter where I draw them. So I just kind of draw in the middle. Uh -huh. So to draw the radius, listen. The I call it the outside radius because lost my circle. Because you are going from the axis of rotation all the way to the outer edge of the slice, so outside radius. You always draw that radius by starting at the axis of rotation, going towards the region, go through the region, stop when there ain't no more region. Okay? Here's another example. You will encounter problems where the region might look like this. Okay? and the axis of rotation might be here, I still draw my radius the same way. My drawings are bad today because I'm rushing so it will not crash. <laughs> so I start at the axis of rotation, I go towards the region, I go through the region, I stop when there ain't no more region. That's my radius, okay? The other one you'll see is like this, where they have the region here, and the axis of rotation is here. I still, exact same procedure. That's why I say these are easy points on the AP tabs. You draw the radius by starting at the axis of rotation, go towards the region, go through the region, stop when there ain't no more region. Question. Okay, cool. In this problem on your sheet, you should be marking on your sheet the following. 
f of x equals e raised to the negative x squared g of x equals 1 subtract cosine x This is the outer radius. The inner radius is drawn very similarly. You start at the axis of rotation. You go towards the region. You stop when you hit the region. So that's inside radius. That's the radius of the cutout, the circular hole we are going to remove from the slice. Wait, if you need me to talk more about that. The drawing is exactly the same. Start at the axis of rotation. Go towards the region. Stop when you hit the region. Axis of rotation towards the region. Stop when you hit the region. So now you have a drawing that shows you the outside radius and the inside radius. The outside radius is the radius of the entire circle, as though nothing is missing. The inside radius is of the piece we're going to cut out. So, if I take the area of the entire circle, and I subtract from that the area of the piece I cut away, I now have the area of the slice. Question. In some problems, Ri will be zero, so you won't be cutting anything out. But the formula doesn't change, Ri just becomes zero. Uh, what, what does Ri stand for? So remember, we have a three dimensional object. You're good. Um, but we don't care about what the three-dimensional object looks like. All we care is every slice looks either like this, so imagine a solid circle, or every slice looks like that. And the area we have to calculate is the area of the slice. So if the circle is solid, we just go pi times the radius of the big circle. That would be this. And you wouldn't have this at all. But if we have to take some away, this is the part we are taking away. So the inside radius goes from the center here, the axis of rotation, to here. The outer radius goes from the center <coughs> to here. Oh, the outside, okay. Yeah, no worries. I was just confused with the letters. Two points. So R is outside radius, I is inside <laughs> radius. Okay. Please don't do this. Look at me. I've had people in past years turn in their test, and their work <coughs> says that a radius is this. No is the right word. Yeah, this is not a radius. The radius is from the center out. So outside radius from here to here, inside radius from here to here. Question? The width is just dx. Because the slices are vertical, so a small change in x represents the width or thickness of the slice. So I'm going to write down pi. My outside radius is just, oh, wait a minute, back to the drawing, sorry. Okay, just like area, I can find the length of the red line because all I have to do is take the y coordinate at the top, subtract the y at the bottom. Say it out loud, please. How do I find the y coordinate at the top? Say it. Just plug x into f, right? Yeah. That was a really bad coral question, sorry. So f of x will tell me the y coordinate at the top. You can say the y coordinate at the bottom. What's the y coordinate at the bottom? Zero. Zero. So I write RO is just f of x subtract zero squared. That's my outside radius. Doesn't the f of x make parentheses? It's just that you don't have the minus zero. Um, yeah, because you have to indicate that all of f gets squared. Not just the x. There's probably some way to do that. I just don't remember it, Abby. So I know parentheses are fine. Um, okay, I want the whole room to raise your hand, please. This is an easy question, but if you'll say it, you'll remember it better than just listening. So raise your hand. What is being calculated by the green? Hands. What is the green calculating? Just the green, not the squared part. Just the green. What is the green calculating? Charles. Outside radius. Outside radius. Stay with me. Of which slice, Charles? Perfect, of whatever x you plug in. Hands up if you knew that. 
2.3 for Charles. How many different X's do we need to plug in? Say it. Yeah, it's a terrible course today. It's my bad. Infinite number. Everybody good? The board's messing me up. Sorry. Um, so this is my formula for finding the outside radius of any slice. Square that, multiply by pi, get the area of the entire slice. Subtract from that, pi. The inner radius is just y at the top, subtract y at the bottom. So raise your hand, please. What am I going to put inside of this parenthesis? There we go. Allie? G of x minus zero. And keep in mind, you don't have to write minus zero. I'm just trying to prep you for a problem like this, where if this were y equal negative three, you would need to write g of x subtract negative three. If it were this problem here, you're gonna take, like this is say four, you would type four minus g of x or f of x, because y at the top subtract y at the bottom. Okay, so we have that. We, so on the actual AP test, I'd probably just not write the zero. I just go f of x, pi, g of x, all of it, so I need some more parentheses, dx, and I need to do it for lots of x's, so I start at zero and I go to a, wherever the intersection is. That will compute the volume. So my intention is to hopefully show this in a way that you're like, oh, this is not hard. Like I really, I just draw my radius, find a formula for the radius, just type in the formula. Really that simple. Please. Well, is this the age we're on the point where the intersection is? Yeah. yeah. So you use your calculator to find that. I'm just limited today because everything keeps dying. So. Two points. Question. Awesome. Let's save that video so we at least have one stored.